Howdy, I'm Cyberx with Outlandishly Crafted, and today we're going to talk about something completely different. I know we talk about different things sometimes, but whew, this is going to be out there. So this isn't a guy, this isn't about Bedrock, this is about androids. So if you're not interested in uh, androids in the future, or some of my thoughts in the future... This will be a pretty different guide for you, and you probably won't like it. But if you are, I would like to go over some thoughts I have. And it, I think I'm going to make a whole bunch of these um, thought thought videos at some point. Um, oh, dang. It's moving my guy around. Um, and here's the thought. In the near future... There will be androids, right? And those androids will have bodies. And those bodies right now will be made up of steel. And they'll be made up of carbon fibers and aluminums and all kinds of different materials. But very quickly, there's going to be a divide between androids and humans and artificial intelligence and real intelligence and there's going to be places that say no droids allowed uh -huh. um famously this is star wars you know 20 minutes into the video the first public area they come to there no droids droids are allowed inside the cantina um and what will happen really quickly, I think, more likely, is androids will look just like humans. Um, they'll have eyes that look like humans. They'll have skin that looks like humans. They'll have clothes that look like, and they'll act pretty much just like humans. I don't think we're going to be at data um, in 300 years. I think that's ridiculous. I think we're going to be at uh, full humanoids in five years, if that. I mean, if not sooner, uh, maybe some of the tech takes longer, like skins and to, to seem more human or seem more realistic. But I think very quickly you're going to have fully android, humanized, human characteristic, artificial beings walking around doing things. And the quickest way, and this is getting to my weird point, the quickest way in detecting an android versus a human is just checking their bone structure right so going through a metal detector or going through something um, very quickly is going to say oh that's an android or that's something now a lot of humans have um, bionic parts so if you have bones then you're a human you know typically you might have a bone structure and then you might have an artificial heart or a artificial leg or artificial eyes or arms or a chip in your brain that doesn't make you an android that just makes you a human with bionic or uh, mechanical parts or whatever <clears throat> so there's a distinction there however what i think is going to end up happening is they're going to start taking the bones huh? of the dead humans and putting them into the androids. So now an android can use the bones of the dead humans and that would allow them to get past security checks and x-ray scans and anything that an android or a mechanical android wouldn't be able to get through naturally. So it'd give them a much greater scale, which means in the near future, Maybe this is 10 years or 20 years. I don't know. But right now, bones have almost no value. Um, human bones. Um, you can go to the Middle East and there's just, you know, as far as the eye can see, bones. Just bones and bones and bones. And nobody cares. Nobody goes and collects them and sells them. Nobody does anything with them. They don't rebury them. They're just bones on the ground. That's all over the place. But at some point, those are going to run out, and there's going to become a market 
for human bones to create androids. And so one of my predictions in the future is pretty dystopian that the androids, a lot of people say, oh, well, they'll just 3D print them. Yeah, but if I could just get, you know, a few hundred thousand sets of bone remains free or almost free, um, that's a lot cheaper than 3D printing the human skeletal structure. Think about the amount of detail the human uh, skeletal structure has. Just the the skull alone, or the all of those bones. They're, they're very porous. They're very um, three dimensional. It's not easy to just print them and have the stability and strength and ability. You know that would hold up also under the strain and the testing and checking through a machine like an X-ray machine. So that's just a really random thought that I'm throwing out there that I think at some point in the future we're going to see a bone market develop and what has no value now will become valuable for androids to be to be more human humanist uh, humanist humanish um, and to pass through security in places that they wouldn't normally be able to get through. And I think that this will, the timelines, and this will be kind of forced. It's, it's the equivalent of the government saying, if you want to fly a drone over a certain weight, you have to get a pilot's license or drone license. So the companies make really small, powerful drones. Um, I think what will happen is, humanity and society will segregate androids and AI and we won't want them to be in certain areas and they won't be allowed in certain areas they won't be trusted in certain areas and then corporations will want to figure out ways to get around those restrictions so that they can get their androids into those areas which then will create this market and the market will then create a value for stuff that currently doesn't have much value. The problem would be if that value gets offset to where all of the current bones are being used, because see, androids aren't going to die. So once you put the bones in an android and they live hundreds of years or thousands of whatever, I don't know, um, at some point, you would need to either start replicating those bones yourself or the problem would go away because there's so many androids or the value of the bones would become more than the value of the human life that was occupying the bones. So you could almost see a Doctor Who episode emerging where the android life forms or the humans that are trying to make the androids that are really valuable to sell, a humanoid, um, perfectly human android is really valuable. So maybe it's millions of dollars for one of these androids and, you know, homeless lives are only worth a few thousand dollars to a corporation. And so you could start seeing a massive value uh, proposition between the two. Versus maybe it costs you, you know, a hundred thousand dollars to 3D manufacture the skeletal structure. You could just get a hobos for a few thousand, and you start having this upside down market system develop. Um, and so I don't know. It was something that I was thinking about space in the future and androids and you know, you're going to have this difference between the two and, well, what if I say this area is no droids allowed or new, no androids allowed in this area, someone's going to have an incentive to make a fake human that can get into those areas, which then means that how would I stop and detect that? Well, I would do an x-ray scan and I would check their skeletal structure like we do now at airports and I would see whether they have what type of skeletal structure they have and 
keep going from there. I think in the future we'll have so many bionics and humans that simply saying, oh, there's chips in their brain or, oh, it's got a mechanical X, a heart or whatever, isn't going to be enough to say they're not human. Um, now you could say, well, you could do a blood test or you could do it, but all of those things are already bypassable today in our standard, much less than a hundred years or 50 years or 20 years in the future. So it's an interesting question. One, will we have segregation of androids? Um, do you want to go to a restaurant and sit next to androids also in the restaurant but they don't eat they don't need to eat they just sit there um do you want to go to a club and where people are dancing and having a good time but there's androids just standing there um you might ask well why are they there but then the question is why shouldn't they be there why can't they be there or um what if they just stand? What if they don't dance? What if they're just awkward in a corner and it makes everybody feel uncomfortable? And then the humans say, well, we don't really want them here because it ruins the environment. And then you put up a no Android sign and now... So it's a really interesting question about where where does the next few years take us what does that mean for you know what does that mean for artificial life it, we need artificial life to be out in space to explore and do stuff because um, you can't easily send humans out there so then what if space is full of you know, 90% artificial life and androids and 10% humans. I mean, who says that the androids want to have humans around if they're given a choice? Maybe the humans make the androids feel uncomfortable and there's no humans allowed areas. That's an interesting thought. I mean, you could go the other way and say humans then are trying to get into the the areas of the AI or the the androids, the droids areas that are off limits to humans. So the humans are then trying to build mechanical bodies to try to fake their way in. I don't think I've seen anybody flip the coin and say... You know, droids take over, droids have an area, and the droids say no humans allowed. It's kind of an interesting take on it. But in reality, it's more, more likely that space and space exploration will be full of droids doing their thing. The question is, will they have choice and opinion and emotions and be able to say... Well, we don't want the humans here. The humans make us uncomfortable. I mean, if, if we give them that ability, I mean, that seems pretty silly. Yeah, it sure seems to be the way society's going. And with how the free market is, it also begs the question... Well, why not? You know, why not give them full emotions and full ability? Um, but I, that's, if you do that, then you also then have to say, yeah, I mean, that, that really adds a lot of questions and other options and issues. Like if you say, hey, androids are then going to have a, the full emotions and, and feelings and ability to say, we don't like being around X or we don't, we feel uncomfortable when X is around. That adds a whole barrel of worms of how much segregation will there be in the future between humans and androids and, or will it be a symbiotic relationship or will they just be a tool or, I mean, at this point, will humans be the tool of the 
the droids and the androids. It does seem like if we're not careful, we could enslave ourselves on the opposite side of this. So, some really odd um, odd thoughts from Cyberax. Um, as I've been working on this space game, there's been a few places where I've just really been thinking, like, how does this story play, or how, how does this look going forward in the future? And, you know, Star Trek really doesn't address droids um, very much at all. They're very minimal. Humans do almost everything. There's very few places. There's a few episodes about it, or, you know, versus like using the doctor as minors or all of those things. Um, but it's very light compared to what it feels like we're going to be headed into. Like, it, it absolutely feels more like a Doctor Who or um, uh, what was the other one? The one that uh, is it Seth Farland did, um, where there's a droid in every house. I mean, it really feels like we're going to have droids running all the restaurants and picking up the trash and doing most of our tasks for us very, very quick as people don't want to do those jobs or, you know, want so much money to do them that it's not profitable to pay them. So it does beg that question what world are we getting in the next 20 to 50 years? And it definitely does not look like Star Trek. Um, I mean, even Star Wars, droids are really just kind of a second thought of, oh, they they do a few tasks here or there. Um, but humans are the ones running around most of the places doing things. It really doesn't feel like that's where the future we're headed for is um it feels a lot more like humans are sitting somewhere and the droids are running around doing things and the droids are the ones active while we're just fuel brain fuel for them creative fuel for them i don't know i don't know but this has been a chat with cyberax from the longest we have it's just been a chat about you know androids and bone markets in the future versus 3D printing skeletal structures or I don't know carbon nano skeletal structures that are easy to detect um, That's that droids aren't human and human checks will there be human checks soon will we you go in the mall and there's a scanner or says no humans allowed or the bar you go down and it says no hum or no droids allowed or huh? it's really going to be an interesting uh future going forward so put in the comments what you think what do you see the future going as what what crazy thoughts have you had about androids and AI and all of these things. The um, game I'm working on that you're looking at now takes place in 2102. This is about 60 years in the future. And so, sorry, my kitty's crying. Um, so it's about, I mean, it's not uh, 80 years in the future, I guess. It's not that far out. You know, that's one lifetime. Um... And so it does really beg the question, how far will we have, have advanced by then? If you look 80 years back from now, I mean, we've advanced a crazy amount. Um, but if you look at where I, you know, in the 90s, where we thought we'd be by 2020, it's laughable how much things have changed. It's very little. Yeah, we have cell phones um, in everybody's pockets, but really i mean i thought in the 90s by now keyboards would easily be gone and we would have full voice communication and interaction with computers and we would not have to do any typing typing is so inefficient and yet here we are we're, we're not even in the ballpark of getting rid of a keyboard so and that's over 30 years so I don't know. It's a hard. It's really hard. It seems like some things. It it absolutely doesn't seem like we just have a gradual development of new tech. It it absolutely is 
a human chooses to develop something and they change history with new tech. So it's more like a stair, stair step where it's not going to happen unless somebody chooses to do it and puts the effort in. Um, so at that point, if you have some amazing idea or you have something that you've always wanted or you have something and you're just not doing it, you could be the next stair step in technology if you just do it. And you, know, you never have any idea of what, you know, the start le ends at. So you start it and then all of a sudden you develop and you learn this. And I mean, even with the space game, I just started with, hey, could I put a simple um, ship HUD on my on my character so that I could fly around and it would look 3D. And then I was like, wow, yeah, I can. Well, could I put the monkey in there and legs and HUD, HUD stuff? And, and then, well, if I could do that, then why couldn't I click a button and change to a different environment and, and just flip out what's on my head in the art? And now all of a sudden, well, if I can do this, and I can go between Captain on the bridge. all of those states, then when I go to a space station, then why can't I just swap out a space station? Well, if I can go to the space station, why can't I go inside the space station? And then why can't I look at the art? And, and why can't I go to the here? And and you, uh, it, the, the whole thing just started with, hey, we should have a ship that flies around and shoots blocks. And now I've got a bathroom and a space station with a sign that says, don't drink the water because there's soap in it. It's pre-soaped because we're in space. It. So if you have something you're sitting on and you're just scared of it or you just don't know, just do it. The, the key is just get out there and maybe you can change, uh, change the world and, and move us forward. I hate to say, but I think there's quite a few things in Minecraft that I've moved forward and that I've changed for the whole world, the biggest game ever made, just because I was curious if I could do it, and then I showed it to people. The key here is you got to show your work. There's so many great advancements that have been done that nobody knows about, and nobody will know about them, and they never help anybody else. And most of the time it's because those people wanted to make some money on it, and they just couldn't figure out, so they didn't want to tell anybody because then someone would steal it, and then they die. Then it's gone. So, yeah. So I'm CyberX outlandishly crafted. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment in the bottom if you have any other ideas on droids and all of these fun subjects. Or maybe you have a different subject you want to chat about. Hit me up.